Why have we moved so quickly from seeing nationalism and your identity as an Australian or an Israeli or as a Brit or as an American or as a Japanese person? Uh, why you know, was it praised so recently and then it's now fallen into such disrepute in the public mind? Well, th there's uh, an un undeniable historical fact, which is that uh, that uh, uh, Adolf Hitler adopted the word nationalism as his description of his, you know, biological race-based world-dominating imperialism. Right. So if you if you pick up Mein Kampf, which I don't recommend, but if you if you actually read it, uh, you you'll see that Hitler never says that you know what he wants to do is to is to build a world German empire. He says that Germany should be the mistress of the globe and the lord of the earth. Uh, but he calls that nationalism, and uh, in the in the wake of the Second World War, um, liberals and Marxists who were hostile to the idea of independent nations uh, adopted her uh, um, uh, adopted this terminology of uh, of Hitler's and said, "Look, either you're a liberal or you're." Uh, this terrible thing that that's a nationalist is what what Hitler was, but the the, the problem with this is you know aside from the fact that I'm not terribly interested in learning political theory from Hitler, is that um, we have a I mean th there's this pattern that that the left is constantly jumping at opportunities to uh, make uh, words that conservatives use to describe their positions illegitimate. You know, so so we we have the same problem with, uh, you know, with conservatism, which is associated with fascism. We have the same problem with, you know, with religion, with Christianity or Judaism, which are you know said said to always refer to, uh, to something terrible. Um, any any term that is important to people who want to conserve and preserve things, ends up being uh, tainted and turned into something evil. So you know, look, th there's certainly um, bad nationalists and good nationalists, just like there are you know bad and good uh, Christians and Jews and virtually anything else that you can think of. But uh, we do have to take a position on the question of whether we believe that the independence of nations, the the sovereignty of nations, their right to chart their own course, is a value that that uh, that we as a general matter approve of. Uh, and if we do, if we do approve of national independence as a way of ordering the political world, then we need a word for it. And there is no other word. So, um, you know, people could invent some word, but at the moment, nationalism is what we have.